Okay, this one has been long overdue. So I'm sure most of you have been asking a lot of questions. What is a QML and what does it stand for and how to actually get to trade it successfully. So, so this video, we're going to talk about uh, QML, specifically how to trade. It, okay. But uh, let me just give you a brief history of where it comes from. So you can see here, this is the Quasmodo pattern that we, I mean, this is the Quasmodo cartoon that we have here, okay? So the concept of QML is taken from this cartoon, okay? So after looking at the poster of the cartoon, you can see that the poster of the cartoon, it's not really, it's not normal. You can see it here, this is the poster of the cartoon, okay? So this is where QML was being drived for, from, I mean. So you can see QML, it stands for Quasmodo line, okay? So Quasmodo line, Quasmodo, which is this cartoon that you see here. So the QML structure looks like this, okay? So you can just flip it. If it's a bullish QML, you can just flip the whole structure. But uh, as we proceed with this lesson, you're going to see different example and different types of QML. So you're definitely going to get it. So, but for this case, we're going to use a bearish QML. Okay. So you can see here for a structure to qualify as a QML in Forex, what you need to have, uh, let me just put my pen here. What you need to have, it's a high, okay, being taken out. And then you need to have a higher high, okay? And then you need to have a low here, as you can see. And then you need to have a lower low here, okay? So once you have this in place, okay, you now have a QML structure, okay? Let me just remove this. So how do we trade the QML structure? We're going to cover it on the next lesson, but uh, what you need to expect from the coming video or from this lesson or from this course, this series of course that or this series of lessons that we're going to have, you're going to have a clear definition of what is a QML. And then you're going to have an understanding of what is an FTR when it comes to QML trading. And then you're going to have an understanding of the different types of QML, including advanced QML. Okay. So you can see here, it's being indicated at number seven here. So you're going to have the different types of QML, bearish QML and the bullish QML. And then you're going to understand most importantly, how to trade a QML. Okay. So in trading a QML, here we're going to put a lot of trading concept that will assist you to have high probability such as fair value gap and other blocks. And then we're going to pay it with liquidity void. And then we're going to introduce concepts such as order flow just to help you have a high chance of being successful when it comes to trading a QML. Okay. So, but the main purpose of these lessons that are coming, it's going to be based on QML. Okay. So that's it. I hope you are clear now. You understand what is a QML and where does it come from. Okay.